In this video, I will show you how to perform the force of a job or table for one mainframe control for ZOS environment to another. Firstly, there are some requirements that are needed before you can do this. The installs must be at version 900 or above. Both the sending and the receiving environments must be connected to the same enterprise manager, so IOA gate must be installed in both environments and connected. The force job request is passed to enterprise manager, which then initiates the force job request on the target control M. There are also some parameters which control authorizations for the enterprise manager side. So please also take a look at the video available in knowledge article number 114704 for more details on this. The other thing to note is that this process is performing a force of the target job or table and not an order. So basic scheduling criteria will not be taken into account when the table is scheduled. This is the same as a do force job which can be used to force a table on the same control M environment. So now let's take a look at how we can do this. In version 900, a new parameter was introduced when creating a scheduling definition. This parameter is called do rem force and is part of the post-processing actions that can be taken when a job ends. The parameter is fully documented in the control M for ZOS user guide. So now let's take a look at an example of this. In this first definition, we can see that the do rem force statements in the post processing of the job definition. The control M field is where you specify the control M environment where the force should be sent to. In this example, I'm editing the table definition in an environment called Q90, and I'm sending the force to an environment called F90. The names defined here should be the same names as those defined in the Control M Configuration Manager. The table field contains the name of the table you want to force, and the job field is the name of the job you want to force. If left blank, the complete table will be forced. So using these two parameters, you can either force a complete table or just an individual job. The library name is a control M for ZOS library name where the target table exists. So just before we order this job, let's take a quick look at the table we're going to force. This table is a smart table and contains four jobs. So now let's go ahead and order the Remforce job to kick the process off. After the job is run, we can look at the IOA log And we can see that five jobs were ordered, made up of four job entries and one table entry for the smart table we looked at earlier. If any problems occur with the Remforce process, error messages can be seen here in the IOA log and also in the Control M application server started task that runs on the mainframe. So now we can switch to the F90 environment to see that the jobs were scheduled correctly. And we can see here that the five jobs that were scheduled by this process. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube video channels where you will see more videos like this.